I want to update you on the earthquake in Ecuador. The situation along the country's coast has gotten more and more desperate. En estos casos hay personas que dicen que sus familiares hundreds are dead, thousands are homeless, and the workers tasked with reaching all of them, both dead and alive, still haven't been able to get to all of them yet. Saturday's 7.8 magnitude earthquake caused widespread destruction for several towns and cities along the coast of Ecuador, cities like Manta. It takes about 50 minutes on an airplane to get from Quito to Manta, about 250 miles by car. Now even with that great distance, the impact can still be felt all the way from there to here, especially among these South and North Americans. This team of 12 has spent the past few months living in Ecuador's capital city, preparing for their work in Manta, where they'll be planning a church these next couple years. So the Lord has um, really given us a burden for Manta even before this event. The hurt is real, the hopelessness is real, but we know um, the one true hope and that is Jesus Christ. Isak, who is on the Manta team, has a cousin that lives in that city. The two of them talked after the earthquake about the current challenges. His cousin says the smell among the rubble has become overwhelming. The people there are acting out of desperation and clean water, it's in short supply. Lo que la gente pide acá es agua, full agua. No hay agua en en parte en en 90% de la ciudad se puede decir. Ya en varios sectores me han informado que sí hay, pero son muy poco. Our organization, Extreme Nazarene, is looking at ways to best respond to the great need, both in the short and long term. There were plans to fly a scout team to the city on the Wednesday after the earthquake. However, that flight got canceled. Now, they'll be leaving a few days later by truck, taking with them various supplies, food and water. Also making the trip will be Rebecca Montgomery, who, along with her husband, is helping to lead the Monta church plant team long term. Being able to go now and just experience just a tiny part of what they are experiencing, what they're seeing, what they're feeling, what they're hearing, what they're smelling, um, I think it'll help us to be even more sympathetic and empathetic with them when we actually move to Monta in two months. Certainly, after a disaster of this magnitude, there are a lot of uncertainties out there. One thing that's not, the heart this team has for the city it's been called to. So please, be in prayer for these 12 people. Be in prayer for Extreme Nazarene on how to continue to respond and keep praying for cities like Manta, for lives to be changed yet again for the better.